it just redness or is it something more? If you're experiencing rosacea or think you might be, we've got a beginner's guide of tips and tricks to treat it with dermatologist Dr. Gita Yadav. Yeah. Can we start by talking about what is rosacea? Yeah, I mean, I think rosacea is sort of best described as something that is like an inflammatory skin condition. Mm. Your skin's inflamed, it's red, it can look like acne, it's not. It can have these bumps, it can feel stingy and tender, and it's something that people suffer with chronically. We're going to bring in our model, Michelle. Come on in here to help explain. So what is it sometimes confused with or? Yeah, I'm, you know, so it's, thank you so much. So having okay. Michelle here is great because we can sort of have a look at her skin. She's kindly agreed to do that. So we've got uh, this redness in the background affecting the cheeks, the nose, the chin, the forehead, and mm -hmm. also some small bumps that can look like acne. And so sometimes people think it's acne and that redness in the background that's diffuse, sometimes people can mistake that for sensitive skin or irritation and they think, oh, well, it's just the products I'm using. Okay. It's not an underlying skin condition. Okay, so Michelle, for you, how long have you had your rosacea for and how would you describe that it presents itself? Sure, um, you know, it's been about 20 years. It mm -hmm. started in my 20s and I'm in my 40s now and it's just gotten worse over time. Really red, just as Dr. Yadav describes it, red bumps and can be really sensitive and painful. Okay, yeah. we want to talk about, uh, doctor, what causes this? It's a bit complicated, but I think I can break it down by saying it's generally sort of the way your skin's microbiome reacts to the world. So okay. we got all this stuff that lives on us. It's part of that makes our skin healthy and good, but sometimes that gets a little bit out of whack and it can cause inflammation. And that's why it doesn't always look the same. It can have triggers and flares and it depends on what you're doing to kind of make it look a bit worse or make it feel a bit better. Okay, so you mentioned flare-ups. We're gonna play a little true or false, okay? Love it. I'll get the audience to play a little true or false with me and we're gonna break down some of the things that might cause your rosacea to get worse. So here's your first scenario. <laughs> Every night, Sophia comes home and has several glasses of wine to wind down. I feel you, Sophia. Her excessive alcohol has caused her to develop rosacea. True or false? What do you all think? Most of you are saying false. Oh, uh, there's some trues in there, and I'm a true as well. What is it, Dr. Yadav? It's false. It's false. It's false. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. Good. But maybe a bit of a trick question, because yes. you see, um, alcohol doesn't cause rosacea, and uh -huh. certainly there's a bit of stigmatization around, gosh, that person has that red-colored face. They're drinking too much. It's oh, not that. Right. It's that alcohol can flare rosacea. And so you may have it in the background already, those blood vessels, they dilate, you start looking a little bit more pink, and all the good things in life become harder to look good doing. <laughs> Michelle, do you get flare-ups if you've had wine? Absolutely. Red wine is the worst. I miss it. And do you like red wine? <laughs> Love it. I'm so sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. I'm here for you. Yeah. Cheers. I'm sorry. Okay, scenario number two. Amanda's skin has changed. It feels hot and tender with dry, swollen patches that won't clear up with treatment. However, she can't have rosacea because she's a woman of color. Is that true or is that false? I don't know. I thought that was true. I didn't know women of color got rosacea, but you all are saying it's false. I feel like I might be wrong here. <laughs> Doctor, what is it? Um, sorry to say I'm you wrong. are. Okay, you all know. You know. Very good. I think one of sort of the key lessons that I like to explain to patients and to everyone here today is that uh, skin of color, redness doesn't show up so easily on it, but it can be there. And so it's easy to think that it wouldn't affect someone with brown or black skin, but definitely possible. Okay, good to know. Just maybe harder to see. Harder to see, but it's there. So let's talk about ways to treat rosacea. Dr. Yadav, t walk us through maybe a gentle skincare routine. And you know, this is something maybe Michelle can adopt as well. That's right, and you said it, gentle is the rule of thumb here. Right. So, you know, uh, I've brought with me a couple of different examples of products. Starting with a gentle cleanser is the most important. You can also use like a micellar water. I've picked one that's got uh, aloe in it because that can be soothing for irritated, sensitive skin. Um, next, you're gonna wanna make sure you use a corrective product, something that has azelaic acid. For those that are a bit price sensitive, there's a great product by The Ordinary. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit more of a sophisticated product might be something by SkinCeuticals that has a redness neutralizer in it, and that works very well as a cream. Mm -hmm. These are both lightweight formulas, and you need that for skin that's prone to breaking out with rosacea pimples, not acne pimples, because it can be occlusive otherwise. And the last finishing move, if it's in the morning and you have um, your regular facial routine, 
using a sunscreen, pro mm. tip, one that has tinted in it. So it's pigmented because that'll protect your skin against visible light in addition to ultraviolet light. And that oh. visible light we know in white skin makes it look more red and in brown skin can make it look more brown and pigmentation alteration. So it's a right. great thing to use if you've got rosacea as a tinted sunscreen. Do you mind just taking that yeah. tinted and putting a little bit yeah. on my Let's do it. Uh, Let's all three of us do it. Let's so that's it. interesting because I've never heard before that you should stick with a tinted one just because it's also going to relieve some of the color, dis the discoloration. Yeah. Yeah. And not make it make go worse. And that's where the evidence is going and yeah. I think it's really important. Oh, and it feels good. It looks good on all of our uh, different skin tones. It sure does. Dr. Yadav, <laughs> thank you so much. Let's go to break. A great modeling. Thank you.